the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction and for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth dear brethren we shall look doctrine of eternal security because it is quite essential for us to make note that many of the people have this problem in their thinking to think whether they have been really saved or not they have been raised by the moron pastor teachers who do not have absolute assurance or faith in the very words of our lord god almighty who spoke through our lord and savior jesus christ but rather they want to still doubt his words they want to still doubt his immut- immutability and they want to tell that their lord is not veracity but for them it this is a doctrine of eternal security point number 1 positional approach every believer is in union with christ romans 8:1 ephesians 1:3 through 6 jude 1 the logical approach if god did the most for us when we were his enemies then it follows he will do much more than the most for us as members of his royal family romans 5 9 through 10 romans 5 15 romans 5 17 romans 5 20 and romans 8 32 followed by romans 8 38 and 39 the anthropomorphic approach that is what assigning to god the human standards because the believer have to know if it is there in the god's hand or not the believer is held in god's hand and he will never let go as per psalms 37:24 and john 10:28 and we do have a longer time where the people will say now i no longer believe in christ we have the experiential approach though we say we no longer believe god remains faithful though we are faithless because of his immutability second timothy 2:12 and 13 point number 5 the family approach since we are been born into the royal family of god and can never be removed we are been eternally saved a son is a son for you if you cross check with the dna he has that strands to prove that you are he that he has been born to you exactly the absolute righteousness of our lord and savior jesus christ given for us we belong to the royal family of god a royal family of true righteousness to be built upon truth and this true righteousness calls for us in john 1:12 and galatians 3:26 and then later on we have a body approach because all the people can understand what a body functions what is the function of a hand what is the function of a leg what is the function of your eye ear or any other thing this body approach tells the head of the body our lord and savior jesus christ can never say to any member of the body that is to the believer that he does not need him first corinthians 12:21 followed by colossians 1:18 and then we have point number 8 inheritance approach we have an inheritance which is incorruptible and unchanging waiting for us in heaven Ephesians 1:11 and 1 Peter 1:4 and 5 and we do have the Greek tense approach as well the aorist tense of pistio in Acts 16:31 means to believe once for all time and the perfect tense of sozo in Ephesians 2:8 and 9 means you are saved in the past with the result that you go on to be saved forever and you have last but not the least the sovereignty approach point number 9 God's decision to keep us 2 Peter 3, 9 and Jude 24 and we have the sealing ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit a guarantee that the name of every believer remains in the book of life forever 2 Corinthians 1:22 Ephesians 1:13 Ephesians 4:13 2 Timothy 2:19 in comparison with Revelation 20:13, 15 taken from the notes of the prodigal son page number 31 and 32 of my mentor human mentor my guru Robert Bunker Thime you need to understand these things so that you could be absolutely taken to the point you are being saved at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone so that furthermore you can rely upon the things pertaining to Christ and grow up to this unique spiritual life in this mystery doctrine of the church age the great one never existed before but now being made known manifest for us so that in the eternity past having predestined in love lord before the foundation of the world has chosen you to be holy and to be blameless so which 
way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that, Lord, God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.